Hey, what's going on guys? Clickwood here back again bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video And guys what I've got for you today is something a little bit different something We don't usually do on the channel, but something I had the opportunity to do with this most feared Des Bryant You guys can see him breaking a tackle there taking off for a big touchdown We are gonna do a quick card review on the most feared Des Bryant now first of all I want to point out one thing I did previously upload this video but for some reason the commentary got messed up it did not record onto the actual video that got uploaded to YouTube then I went back to my settings and yeah they were all gone so apparently it rendered and I have no idea what happened with the commentary so we're redoing this whole thing want to apologize again guys for that uh, if you're watching this a second time I do appreciate it if you're watching it for the first time thank you so much hopefully you guys will enjoy this video now first of all I do want to point out too that this is uh, at the beginning of the video these are solo challenge clips we will get to some head-to-head -head seasons clips and they are just as dirty as ones like this Des Bryant beating him deep there on a streak guys I'm telling you right now if you did not have an opportunity to play with this Des Bryant I would highly, highly recommend that when they do the re-morphing of it or whatever it's called, the re-enraging, go out there and get this thing because it will happen. They're going to do it at some point this year, just like they did last year, I imagine. They're going to make it so that these Halloween Most Feared cards will actually go back to the state that they were during this promo where they were just ridiculously huge and ridiculously good. Take a look here at this Des Bryant as he's breaking down the field here. That was press coverage. He's beating him deep there. Easy peasy. Now, granted, you're going to say anybody can do that with a, with a little bit of speed. But it's not just his speed. It's his release, his acceleration, the speed. It's the route running. It's everything. Des Bryant's got it all, man. I'm telling you right now. This is one of the most beastly cards that you were going to come across in Madden this year. He honestly, like, as far as the pure attributes go, he is currently, at the time that I was recording this video when he was enraged, he was the best pure receiver in the game just by attributes. But then when you consider the fact that he was also 8 feet tall, I'm telling you guys right now, I believe this is the best card in this game, period. I want to point out one other thing too. On this play here, you're going to see the replay. For some reason, they didn't rule it a touchdown on the field because it wasn't. Clearly, he doesn't get his feet in bounds here. They ruled it a touchdown on the review. Which means to me that this card is not only ridiculous, because look at him going up here and making a catch in double coverage, but he's also glitchy for some reason. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was his feet are gigantic and they're, the animation or, or something like that made it so that it looked like he got his feet in bounds uh, on that review. I don't know what happened, but that was pretty awesome when I got the touchdown there. And guys, we're going to be getting into some head-to-head -head seasons clips here in just a moment. But uh, again... I'm telling you guys, I believe that this is currently the best card, at the time that it was enraged, it was the best card in Madden Ultimate Team, period. I mean, it doesn't matter to me what they do from this point on, unless they make another player that's 8 feet tall at wide receiver, I don't think you can compare it to Des Bryant, because yeah, they're going to put out cards that have better route running, better catching, uh, better speed and everything like that, and don't get me wrong, he had great attributes and all of those things. But it's just EA's way of making cards better uh, as the season goes on. They put out better and better cards. So there will be cards that have better pure attributes. But when you combine the fact that he had those great attributes and he's 8 feet tall, again, I just don't think there's a better card that they're going to put out this year in Madden. I, I honestly don't. I think this is going to be the best card that we see all season. And it's, it's definitely, during this promo, is the most OP thing in the game. The only thing that could really compare to it, if you put him directly on him, Brian Dawkins might be able to cover him, but I just didn't really see very many opportunities for people to do that. So yeah, Des Bryant was ridiculous, and that's kind of my review, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, click that like button. I'm also going to be doing a, a uh, Brian Dawkins review and upcoming as well, and a Walter Payton review. So look out for that, guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you again soon. 